All right, everybody, welcome into the Lantern Sports Post Game Show. I'm your host, Casey Smith, alongside Jacob Binge and Stephen Kishbaugh. Just a little bit ago, Ohio State, they came away with a rout of Toledo, 77-21, to 21, uh, second most yards of total offense in school history, and the most points scored since Ryan Day filled in for a suspended Urban Meyer in 2018 against Oregon State. And, Jacob, this offense was rolling from the start. They go on that really establishing drive just over three minutes, uh, about three and a half minutes to really set the tone. Um, and they had a phenomenal day with over 700 yards of offense. Yeah, I mean, Ryan Day talked about it in the postgame presser. The decision to, you know, you win the coin toss and you, most teams elect to defer, but, you know, Ohio State said, you know, give us the ball, we'll have our offense, we trust it. And Ryan Day said, if you if you take the ball there on that opening drive, you have to score. That's exactly what Ohio State did. And as you mentioned, they put up so many yards of offense. C.J. Stroud was four for four after that opening drive. Toledo answered right back, though, but Ohio State took off like a rocket thereafter and just got the big win with, uh, you know, points that they haven't put up since, you know, four or five seasons ago. And I see what you did there. You know, they put a, they put a rocket against the Rockets. Um, big, big story for me tonight was the defense. I mean, after giving up a huge play in the second, uh, in the second half, uh, you know, over and over again, we've seen during these games that Ohio State's giving up big plays through the air. But instead of uh, breaking, they've been, they've been utilizing that bend but don't break mentality where you know teams of previous years past would probably let more touchdowns in scoring inside the red zone but not tonight even though Daquan Finn the quarterback for Toledo played outstanding he had a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown Ohio State was generally able to keep him limited and you know if they're able to keep a dual threat quarterback like that limited uh, this early on in the season, you know, with the adjustments they can make later down the line, it bodes well for them when they come to face, you know, the b more talented Big Ten quarterbacks. Yeah, for sure. You mentioned the Big Ten quarterbacks. This is this rounds out the non-conference slate. A, a week from today, Ohio State, they are back under the lights against Wisconsin, and we'll have the coverage for you. Um, Jacob Binge and Stephen Kishpaw with the stories and myself and Gabe Burgraff with uh, the highlight video and stuff like that. Be sure to follow us on all socials, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok uh, for content coming from this week before Ohio State opens the Big Ten slate against Wisconsin. Uh, but for now, they come away with a huge 77-21 to victory. Uh, this has been the Lantern Sports Post Game Show. I'm your host, Casey Smith. Until next time, take care.